In my empowered, deranged mind, I thought it would be a good idea to travel alone with a baby to Dominican Republic. My husband's good friend was getting married in Houston the same weekend that my cousin was getting married in Dominican Republic. I thought divide and conquer, right? So wrong. For starters, I decided to travel with just like way too many things. Car seat, stroller, carrier, anti-choking device, name it. I brought it. Becoming a mom has made me plan for a bunch of what if scenarios. The scenario that I was stressing about was what if all hell breaks loose and we end up in war and I get stuck in Dominican Republic with Naya, I need to be prepared. <laughs> so I brought all this crap on this flight to Dominican Republic that I was going on by myself. I don't know why I'm this way, but I am. Needless to say, let me just like go down the list of all the things that I did that were just like not the brightest. My flight was the day before my sister and my parents came in. My sister and my parents were also going to Dominican Republic from Florida. And I was like, you know what? Let me just come the day before by myself. Not only am I flying by myself, but now I'm gonna go to the Airbnb on my lonesome. Second part is I brought everything that Naya needed and then didn't need. But the one thing that I left was her pack and play. And then I couldn't set her down anywhere while I was like using the bathroom or taking a shower. Like where was I gonna put Naya while I had something else to do if I didn't bring the pack and play. So of all things I didn't bring, I didn't bring the one thing I really needed. I chose to stay in an Airbnb down the street from my aunt's house. That's not bad. The problem was that the description didn't say that it was on the fourth floor with just stairs. So I have all these things and then it's on the fourth floor. So luckily my cousin helped me, but that's like, what if my cousin was busy? You know, like there's just things that you don't do. <laughs> and this weekend just happened to be like the hottest weekend of the century. My aunt was like, oh, it has something to do with like the solar eclipse or whatever. I don't know what it was, but it was super, super hot. And there wasn't any central AC. There were only AC units in the bedroom. So unless I was in the room, Naya was like hot as hell and I was hot as hell. We were hot as hell. It was the absolute struggle bubble, but don't get me wrong. Like all that aside, I was super happy to be with family. It was really important for me to go that weekend because family was flying in from everywhere. And it was the first time in a long time that we were all in Dominican Republic at the same time. So I really wanted to be there. And also it's my cousin's wedding. He's really important to me. They're really important to me. And I wanted to be there for this special family bonding moment. Like all the cousins got reunited. Like we haven't all been united like that in Dominican Republic in years. Like since we were teenagers going to like resorts in Punta Cana and like wreaking havoc. Like it was so fun to, for us all to be back together again. And I got to get like the most epic four generation photo of me, Naya, my mom and my grandma. So at the end of the day, it was all worth it for sure. I'm just complaining. Originally I was supposed to stay for like a week after the wedding just bonding, hanging out with family. And Jalen was gonna fly in on Monday after his wedding. And we were just gonna stay there. We might've gone to a resort. It was gonna be like a fun family experience. And I left with my sister on Sunday. I was like, Jalen, <laughs> you're gonna have to stay in Florida because he had a connecting flight from Florida to Dominican Republic that Monday. I was like, I'm heading back today. So tomorrow you're gonna have to like not get on your connecting flight to get back to, to go to Dominican Republic because I'm at my limit of peace right now. <laughs> I'm about to be out of my peace. <laughs> I had like an illusion that we would be chilling in Florida. It would be me, my sister, Jalen, my sister's husband, my niece, and Naya, all in one house bonding. Really wanted that. And honestly, it was great. Like, I'm glad we did it. Again, I'm complaining. But Jalen and I work from home and we decided to use this nanny service because typically Naya has a nanny at home here in Dallas. So we were like, okay, I don't want to put her in daycare. We're already out of her. She's already out of her element. Then we're going to further take her out of her element by putting her in daycare all day when she's not used to it typically. So let's do, let's do the nanny service. Uh, my job pays for a portion of the nanny and then I end up just paying like a deductible. So it worked out great or would have worked out great if Naya didn't scream her head off for the entire time that the nanny was there with her. So unless I was sitting on the floor next to Naya, she was screaming her head off. So that didn't work well, working from home. And then to top it all off, she wasn't sleeping either. She was actually, I'm gonna show you. Okay, she was doing this on the bed, just for hours, just 
stay up all night and then she would scream her head off wake up my niece that was sleeping in the next room so there was just a bunch of screaming babies and me my husband my sister and my brother-in-law just didn't get any sleep the whole week so Jalen one night because he was just so over it he this was like Wednesday he was like you know what screw this flight that we have back home on Monday we're leaving on Friday and he bought a flight he's like I don't care how much it is we're leaving on Friday so we ended up just coming back home Friday and just changed another flight like we were supposed to come back Monday from Fort Lauderdale which originally was supposed to be from Dominican Republic but anyway we were just over it all <laughs> we needed to get home Naya needed to get home I learned a valuable lesson that Naya is not ready for extended trips she's only a baby this is what she knows her normal is this every day so taking her out so suddenly for so long was not the best idea on my end and in the future we're just gonna gradually get there like we leave for three days at a time then four days at a time but not taking her out of her peace for so long ever again and not doing it alone ever again <laughs> now we have peace we're working from home from our home offices naya's with her nanny and she was so happy to see her and we're all back to normalcy again loved the time with the family but a lot of aha moments happened this past week.